So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I want to take a quick look at Icy Avalanche which is a new augment for Frost that you can get by either reaching the rank of General under the Steel Meridian or the rank of Genius under Cephalon Suda and it costs 25,000 standing. Or alternatively you can buy it from other players using Platinum. Now this augment grants you and your allies a shield that absorbs 60 damage for each enemy you hit with Avalanche. And the amount of shield you get per enemy hit with Avalanche is affected by power strength, so if you have loads of power strength you're gonna get far more than just 60. And I don't think there is a cap for how many enemies you can hit with Avalanche, so the more enemies around you the better. Now one cool little thing about the shield you and your allies get from this that is not mentioned on the mod card is that it protects you from status procs, which is really good against the infested. Now, when you read the mod card, this augment doesn't sound like much, right? For each enemy you hit with Avalanche, you and your allies get a damage shield that absorbs 60 damage. Oh boy, 60 damage. But do not be fooled. This augment is good. How good, you ask? Well, earlier today, I did just a normal public run on Heracon, and we did 16 excavators. Do you know how much damage I took? Zero. I didn't take a single point of damage in the entire mission. And neither did the Vauban that was close to me the entire time, because we were defending the excavators. The other two dudes, they were running around all over the place, so they weren't always there when I casted Avalanche and they didn't get the shield. And unfortunately, after I stopped recording, I managed to get a 4k shield, so I at least took a screenshot of it. And while that may not sound like an awful lot, a Rhino that's modded for full power strength without Ironclad Charge gets about 7.2k health on his Iron Skin. Now the build I decided to go for is just a one forma build and all you need to do is just add a V for Transient Fortitude, you don't need the second V for Intensify. Now the aura I'm using is Rejuvenation because it matches the original polarity and it's kind of nice, I personally like Rejuvenation but I know a lot of people don't so you can swap it out for Stand United so you have more armor which is always nice or you can even forma it away into a dash and put in Energy Siphon so you can use your abilities far more often. Then to get loads of power efficiency I'm using Fleeting Expertise and this is to make Avalanche pretty cheap so you can cast it basically all the time and it also allows you to cast Snow Globe multiple times so you can give it loads of health with just one energy bar. And if you don't have Fleeting Expertise it's actually not that big of a deal, you just have to be a little bit more careful with your energy. Then for power strength I'm using Transient, Fortitude, Intensify and Power Drift which gives me 200% power strength which is good for Snow Globe because it gives it loads of health. And it also makes avalanches far stronger, so they actually do a decent amount of damage and they give you and your allies a pretty good shield as well. Now this is probably the first build that I ever did that uses two drift mods, because for power range I'm using cunning, drift and stretch. And this is simply because I wanted to get as much efficiency, range and strength as possible, so I didn't want to use overextended, which would lower my strength, and I didn't want to use blind rage, which would kill my power efficiency. And this way my avalanche is cheap to cast, it has a decent amount of range, it does a lot of damage and it grants a decent shield. And it's also pretty good for stacking snow globe as well. Then of course we have to use icy avalanche because without it this wouldn't really be an icy avalanche build. And finally I'm using vitality and steel fiber. Now steel fiber is very much recommended because it gives you more armor so you're gonna have more survivability and it's gonna give you stronger snow globe because snow globe does scale from the amount of armor you have. But Vitality is somewhat optional because as you saw earlier you can walk through something like Heracon without taking any damage if you cast Avalanche often enough. It is still nice to have especially if you want to run sorties where the enemies are gonna blast through the shield much faster but outside of sorties it would actually not be a bad idea to swap out Vitality for Natural Talent so you would have shorter cast time on Avalanche but unfortunately since the D comes in with Frost as standard you would have to put in another Forma. Now when I first picked this augment up I wasn't overly excited about it because you know I did the standard stuff, I ran a couple of missions, I ran sorties, I played around with the simulacrum for a little bit and it was just like okay I get a little bit of a shield but as soon as I took it to Heracon and I started playing in groups I fell in love with this augment almost immediately and I think that's because of two things mostly. First of all on your own this doesn't do an awful lot because you know you are frost and you have loads of armor, you have decent health pool, you can freeze enemies, you can shield yourself with the globe. So for you this augment doesn't really do an awful lot. But for your allies, especially if they're playing squishier frames, this augment is amazing. I mean just imagine this, right? You're running around as a banshee, you are having fun, but suddenly an infested ancient farts in your general direction and you die. Well that's not gonna happen if you have a frost in your party because you probably have at least 1k shield that protects you from status procs. And the second reason why I think this augment wasn't as effective when I was initially testing it is because I was not fighting the infested. 
This augment is amazing versus the infested because there is loads of them and they all like to group up. So when you use avalanche versus the infested, it's gonna hit a lot of dudes. Now, some people were a little bit disappointed that the shield doesn't stack because if you hit five enemies, you're gonna get uh, just say 300 shields. And if you hit five enemies again, it's just gonna give you 300 shields again. It's not gonna go up to 600. If you already have 300 shields from hitting five enemies, you would have to hit six of them to get more. And I think the people who were disappointed by this do not realize how ridiculously overpowered this would be if it did stack. Because on something like Herakon, once again, after the first excavator, you and your allies would have like 60k shields. So for me, this augment gets a big thumbs up. It is awesome. You should definitely try it out. And that's pretty much it for the video. So I thank you very much for watching, as always. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Um... I don't think it has ever been so obvious that a frame has been unvaulted. Look at all the f***ing globes! <laughs>